page 59. Aunt Jill dropped the strands of the lanyard she was demonstrating to hug the girl. Well, hi, Lana. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. Chum will have a friend this year. A mouse, one of the new boys, caught in a butterfly net. She lifted the big cage onto the shelf beside Ralph's cage. Ralph sat on his wheel to get a better look at the new occupant of the nature corner. A cranky looking animal with tan and white fur. Ralph, who had never seen such an animal, watched silently while the creature, whatever it was, shoved and pushed and stomped at the cedar shavings in his cage. He seemed to have difficulty arranging them to his satisfaction. Next, he went through his food dish, picked out a number of small green pellets, and shoved them outside his cage. The cedar shavings still did not please him, so he went back to shoving, pushing, and stomping. From time to time he paused to gnaw noisily at the bars of his cage with his long, curving teeth. Finally, when the bell had rung and the campers had gone off for their noon meal, Ralph, in his eagerness for companionship, could no longer remain silent. What are you anyway, he asked, some kind of fancy gopher? The animal spat a green pellet out of his cage before he shot Ralph a withering look of scorn. Fancy gopher indeed, he sniffed. Well, Ralph faltered, I didn't know. You can't blame me for asking. I am a hamster, said the animal. A golden hamster. I am clean, odorless, and alert. You don't look gold to me, said Ralph. You look tan and hairy. At that response, the hamster turned his back on the mouse. Ralph nibbled a kernel of corn before he made up his mind to try again. Pretty nice place we have here, he remarked. Plenty of food and water. Interesting things to watch. The hamster climbed on his exercise wheel and sat swinging to and fro, while he stared at Ralph. When Chum remained silent, Ralph continued, It's safe from the cat, too. Chum appeared never to blink his eyes. Maybe, he said. Ralph's whiskers trembled. That one word spoken by the hamster hinted at evils unknown to Ralph. Here was an animal who was 